fight coming up next. It is a welterweight showdown between Michael Maverick Chiesa and Donald Cerrone. So here we go with round one. Seems to be a situation in which he wants to do everything in his power to keep this fight on the feet. He'd appear to have a lot of advantages at distance. We'll see if he can get it done tonight. Yes, he has all the advantages because we don't see many specialists anymore in the UFC. Guys can generally do everything, but this guy is a jiu-jitsu player. He wants to get the fight to the ground and start to weave his web of traps to try and find a submission. This striker needs to maintain his space. He needs to make sure he is not on the ground. Avoid it at all costs. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. If there. you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. He is all about that left kick to the body. Oh, big punch land. So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth. This is a full-on brawl. Piece. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. Both guys throwing potential fight. That one appeared to stun him. He's in trouble. He's oh, in the back. ankle pick to get him down. We'll see if he can tap Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. He got him. Oh, these are some devastating knees, as we might say in Boston, some wicked, effective <laughs> knees. I love when you talk like that. I know you I do. think it's so, so good. <laughs> but there's a guy, I love the way you talk, but I love the way this guy fights. And he's throwing those knees in order to shut the lights off. He's driving the back of the head. Oh, now going to the judo throw. He ends up in side control. A lot of options for him here. Yeah, he can either go ground and pump, or he can chase the mission. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. There it is. type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. Oh, and there comes the stoppage. He got him. Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Here up next, a UFC Bantamweight tilt. Each other's radars for quite some time tonight. It shall be done. Both guys well rounded. Oh, huge right hand! Wow! Big knee to the body. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. That kick blocked by O'Malley. 
big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Watch knees to the body. Oh, nice. Nice. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, crippling knee to the body. Spinning back fist is there. Right hook to the head block. Oh! He needs to start looking for finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very fast. Oh, he might be out. Lands a good combination. Jab hurt him a little bit. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Oh! Great punch. His opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. O'Malley's hook shot is blocked. Saw that coming from a mile away. Just out of range with that right hand. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Nice stick with the right hand. Whoa! I mean, jeez Louise. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. He's having his way with him here. One minute to go in the round. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots to the top. Gets up again here, but hurting. Gentlemen, crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure. A flyweight matchup between John Dodson and Demetrius Johnson. Nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here too. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Punch coming, it's blocked. Just unable to quite find that range. Nice kick with the right hand. And both guys really throwing with authority. 35 total strikes have now landed. 
intended for John Dotson. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Johnson gets caught with that punch. Ooh, oh, head kick lands. He's hurt. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Now they're both throwing with power. Oh, he might be out. Big knee to the body. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Dodson gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Just out of range with that right hand. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. And he comes knee. through with a big knee. That knee hurt him. A lot of different looks. He switches to southpaw now. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. Nice stick with the right hand. Oh! He's done! He's done! Oh, big left hook there! Entertaining scrap so far. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting it over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, round two. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Head kick there blocked by Johnson. He's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves his focus. Don't finish his fight. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. News hurt. Throws him out. Go get him. Back to the feet. Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, DC, no telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights. Hey, hey,
Division fight. certain markets you better bring it right we got disneyland around the corner the ufc knows when they come to town in anaheim that they better bring the stars they've certainly done that they've done that time and time again some of the title fights in this arena the last oh, holy smoke put it to sleep edge of your seat action as expected so far big knee to the body Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quick. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab. Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, straight right. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing... Oh! Another knockdown! are unofficial, but they are strong. 43 total strikes unofficially have landed for Piotr Young. Liver kick, straight punch lands. They continue to exchange. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's get you some replays now. It is a women's bantamweight matchup between Valentina Shevchenko and Chris Cyborg. Round one, two of the best strikers in the women's game today and the expectations are. We're not going to see a lot of takedown attempts on either side. No takedown attempts from either of these young women. They both want to get to the center of the octagon and start to just let the hands and the kicks fly. This is the type of matchup that we always look forward to. So both girls landing right out of the chute. There she goes. Wow! You can never know. What oh, big knee! Back to her feet here, but man, is she hurt. Oh! Follows it up with a nice combination. Beautiful body kick. Well, eventually she will turn this defense into offense, but she seems to see these strikes. Oh! Huge right hand! She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's going to finish this fight. Just over three minutes to go. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Shevchenko's has got full mount now. Oh, nice job by her to posture up there. Now we'll see if she can maintain that separation. She has to recognize that her opponent will start trying to squirrel away now, but look for her big ground opponent. 
Just over two minutes, round one. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It, it's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she spent a lifetime developing this skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the mat. How good is her movement here on the ground, right? Shades of Ray Borg just transitioning so beautifully. Yeah, she's so good at transitions and movement. Her ability is unmatched. Less than a minute to go in the round. Oh, nice job by her there. You see how strong she is. Her opponent's trying to control posture, unable to do so. Now she can get to work and put the money in the bank with that ground and Money in the bank. All right, she's in full guard here. The 18 attempt for her here. Watch the Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, saved by the bell, round over. And the finish came just in time. Thought maybe she might tap there, but you know how tough she is. So the submission attempt right at the end of the round, saved by... You ready? You ready? Second round here. Oh, head kick attempt. It is blocked by Shevchenko. <laughs> Good stick. She heard it back. Oh, her ground and pound is on point here. She's made this a focus going in to make these strikes count. Certainly doing that to her. She's making each and every one of them count. Very, very good job of landing shots, landing them in combination, and making them all match. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Shevchenko gets up and decides to take this fight back to its feet, despite having a seemingly dominant position on the ground. Nice punch, Lynn. Again, in the clinch. And they separate. Just misses there with the left. Ooh, Superman punch lands. Well, she's landed some good shots, but kind of point fighting a little bit, right? Nothing in terms of combinations. And that's the problem. When you start point fighting and your jab is it's landing, if your opponent's landing more down the strike, you run the risk of the judge scoring for them. Right. Get in there, stick your nose in the fight. Don't be afraid to get a little bit dirty. Trying to establish that jab once again. Nice strike. Well, she said in these situations she had to protect her head, and defensively she has done an outstanding job of that. She could not do it any better up to this point. Nice stick with the right hand. Nice one through there. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. As she misses with the left punch there. Big kick land. Oh, look at that combination. I got two words for you, champ. Head trauma. Head trauma, which can be fought by head movement. <laughs> Young Lee. Oh! Can't take it. And that's gonna do it. Yeah, that was just a beautiful shot by her there to end the fight. I'm not sure she could have drawn it up any better than it played out here tonight. She lands the seminal blow there midway through the round. I'm not even sure her opponent saw it coming. So, big, big knockout win for her here tonight. All right, we take a look back at some of the pictures from this one, and she had it all going on tonight, but certainly her boxing was on point. Her boxing always is what allows her to dictate the pace of fights. Finally, she landed the strike that ended the night of her opponent. Bruce Buffer has your official decision.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata is going to stop to this contest at three minutes, 58 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Christian Cyborg!